me for my wrongs, I have just begun. Ain't, ain't no mercy, ain't, ain't, ain't no mercy. Huh. Got that purple Lamborghini, purple Lamborghini lurking. Aka's son's honest reaction, Aka son. Here we are. Let's get into this. Batman, Return of the Cape Crusader. I heard this one has Adam West in it or something like that. Let's take a look. Sound. Welcome to Gotham Palace. On tonight's show, Hector and the Whole Daddies. The Whole Daddies. The holy, unholy alliance. Our greatest foes have reunited. Let's go. To the Batmobile. Okay. Okay. Let's go. You know what the funny part is? This shit looks... This shit looks oh, better. Oh, hold on. You fiends, you will rue this day. The only rule here is in the grave. Eh? <laughs> All right, Who wrote this? Our only hope. Wow. I just realized how much uh, BVS does so exactly. Fast, but we're in a hurry. Cinema sense pointed that out. Extremely hazardous. Gosh, yes, you like that man. Quickly, Robin, to the crosswalk. All right. Okay. So, uh, there we have it. That's the, uh, what was that? The Return of the Cape Crusaders. Um, what I was going to say was, you know, it's funny. That shit looks actually, like, very well animated and one of the better animated features I've seen DC put out, actually, in a long time. Uh, killing joke, I mean, but, 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 but to be fair, a lot of the features that DC has been putting out, DC Animation, they're been, they've been trying to keep it close to the original artwork from the graphic novel, so with that being said, there are some limitations when you're trying to animate certain things. This one, they had a little more free reign to just kind of go out and, you know, put in their best work, but... It's kind of it's kind of funny, and then actually on top of that, what's even funnier now that I really think about it, it's for a for a Batman and Robin story, a lot of this look kind of dark. Not dark the storytelling, but what I mean is like they used a lot of shadows and um, uh, kind of reminds me of uh, what was that one show? I think it was called Batman the Brave and the Bold, I think it was called. It was the one that I didn't really watch so much because it was uh, homaging more to the uh, Silver Age of comics, and that personally wasn't for me. But uh, same thing with this one. Um, of course, I'll give it a shot. Uh, I used to. I mean, I've. I've. I think I've seen every episode of the animated series. I'm pretty sure I have, and. At that time, it was fine as a kid. I, the, watching it, I thought it was good. Um, but the thing, the thing that stood out for me the most with that show was actually how smart Batman was. Like that's the part that I really liked the detective work. I really liked that, and I'll always remember. Um, uh, I don't know. There was some episode. Some chick was crying or some shit like that, and Robin was like, "Fake tears, indeed." And then. Uh, Adam West was like, he took the tear and he tasted it, he was like, no Robin, it's salt, it's salt water. And I was just like, oh yeah, damn. And I was like, wow, Batman's so smart. And so now, every time, <laughs> this is kind of fucked up, but every time I uh, make a woman cry or something like that, I always like try to taste the tear and be like, it's real, it's salty. <laughs> you guys pull the weirdest stories out of me. That shit is so weird. Uh, it's so bizarre. All right, guys. Um, the Regeneration stand up, speak up. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, 
Uh, I do understand, I realize that there is kind of a concern of like with the DC animated shorts, it's like, can they make something other than Batman, or, right? Like a Batman story, but Batman is definitely loved. But I also agree that it'd be nice for them to focus on some other stuff. Fuck, I would love to see a Deathstroke um, uh, feature or something like that. Uh, you know what would be good? They, they will never do it, unfortunately, but I'd love to just see, like, okay, for example, when we were watching everything great about Batman v Superman, right, there was all this, like, extra added backstory that the fans had to, uh, the, that person had to put in to help breathe more life into the movie, um, and, uh, explain things. What would be kind of cool, actually, uh, ah, 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 I know what I wanted to say. Like, the way Gotham Knight was made, okay? So if they want to get the DCEU back on track or get more, I guess the fan hype to believe more in this sort of vision or universe, what would be kind of cool is what doing what they did with Gotham Knight. And Gotham Knight was, if I remember correctly, yes, 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 Gotham Knight was basically what happened in between Batman Begins in The Dark Knight. It was supposed to be right in between that time period. And we saw Killer Croc in there. We saw... And so it was basically all this stuff introduced with Nolan's vision still in mind. And we were able to see extra characters put into that shit. We saw what happened to Scarecrow for a while. And uh, that was cool. It was fucking dope to see Kevin Conroy on top of that uh, do doing a Nolan Batman uh, for the most part, and we saw him, we saw him moving around, jumping, kicking, all this other shit, right? So it might be kind of interesting to do something similar to that, and show what's going on with Amanda Waller, right? Uh, what's going on? Because I, I kind of agree. And let's let's just have, let's go with that flashback of uh, the death of the Robin, because I feel like we're never gonna see that, like exactly what happened. But, and I read this great story on uh, what happened with uh, Joker, like, I think this is all fan theory, but I was reading it, like, uh, are there, like, I heard that there was a scene film where Joker burned down Wayne Manor and Batman up, comes up and he's like, you've gone too far or something like that, and that's when he busts his teeth out, and so that's why Joker tattooed the, uh, um, smile to his fucking hand and wrote damage because he said he was he believed he was beautiful and Batman damaged him and he does he feels embarrassed when he laughs now so that's why he covers his mouth and shit and I was like reading this and I was like fucking A man we that's the shit I need to see in one of their movies but I feel so far with what we're having with what we've seen so far both suicide even though i like suicide squad but bvs and suicide squad we're missing out on a lot of these better stories that are have already happened and but they'll be kind of blurred in fucking weird ass flashbacks or dream sequences right i'd like to see that or fucking a man if the like like as much as that movie was whatever the nightmare sequence the first part of nightmare sequence of um uh nightmare batman coming out that shit was fucking awesome but i liked it because it was an elseworld story i'd love to see that expanded a little bit more but who knows what who, who am i to say what's good or what's not but ah uh, if wb if you're listening which you often do with my channel and i appreciate that um <laughs> keep that in mind just a full-fledged bunch of animated shorts, five different, five, five, five minute, ten minute shorts, uh, and a sort of compilation disc type of thing, as this is just did our live. All right, Red Red Nation, stand up, speak up, what do you guys think of all this? What do you think of my pitch? Message WB on Twitter, and in fact, follow me on Twitter, where you can have more and more information and conversations with me on the daily, because nobody knows about my secret Twitter account, and I have conversations with all these fans. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Peace. If he wanted to steal the pearls, why'd he intentionally f*** up the necklace by pulling this gun bolt? Now he'll have to pick them out of the rich people blood. Over goddamn use of slow goddamn motion. Yes. 
No. <laughs> Remember this, it will become inexplicably and infuriatingly important later. <laughs> what? Also, confidence building bat tornado. Beautiful lie. And Affleck describes this movie one sentence. Yeah.